Welcome to module 14. We're going to learn about our layers and our Photoshop blend modes. Right now, most layers are set on normal, so we're going to, I'm going to show you that. The first thing, I want to come in here, select my snake. So let's select our rectangle marquee tool. I'm going to hide this. Select my snake. With your background layer selected, Command C to copy, Command V to paste, snake. I'm going to rename it, and I'm going to move it over. And what I want to do is I kind of want to line this eye up with this boy's face, this eye, because I'm going to create a double exposure with it. So over here, I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply, and you can see what it does. Command T to transform. I'm going to scale it a little bit smaller. That way the eye lines up. Let's make the eye about the same size. Okay. And if I change this mode, let's go to darken, dissolve, normal, color burn. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. I love the effect it does with the scales on his face so we can play oh, that looks really cool too we can play with several of these this color dodge looks kind of cool too i like that as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to right click duplicate it and this one i'm going to call normal why I'm calling it normal is because I want it to be in normal mode. So I'm going to come over here and just put it in normal mode. I'm going to hide this snake for now, the bottom layer. And I'm going to come in here and delete the background. I just want the snake's head. I'm going to go ahead and select the magnetic lasso tool. Instead, I think that'll be a lot better. Come in here, click my edge. That one needs to be a lot closer. If you click the wrong you select the wrong place you can just click delete until it undoes it okay so I'm just going to go ahead and select this all create a mask that way you can see the snake I can come in here with the brush tool the mask is black the white part is what is showing so to get rid of these edges to clean it up I need to paint with white so with my brush tool selected hardness I'm going to make it 100% going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Actually, I need to be painting with black to be cleaning away. I don't really like this weird neck thing, so let's just get rid of it. Let's brush it away, make my brush smaller, and I can make an edge here to make it look more natural. So, you know what? I'm actually going to brush this part away too. I don't really want it. Just a snake head. Let's see if I can make an edge that makes it look natural. That the snake is coming from the edge here. So it looks like we just have a head rearing up and then the rest of its body is behind it out of focus. I'm going to make my hardness zero just so I have, can have a softer edge here because it is out of focus. Maybe that's too much. Okay, so I kind of want the snake to line up with his eye. 
it looks a little funny i'm going to select both layers and just shift it with the arrows so let's see if we can line it up okay that looks kind of cool something like that i want it to look like it's hitting exactly where the eye is okay cool so we have that snake layer and i'm going to turn this other snake layer on and notice it is in multiply mode i'm going to come in here and just play color burn i kind of like color burn linear burn overlay that looks pretty cool too kind of looks like a tattoo hard light that looks pretty cool vivid light that looks cool too There's so many different options you can play with. I'm going to select linear burn and then I'm going to create a mask and then paint with black with the brush tool and kind of want to brush away this background so it's just leaving this part that kind of looks like a tattoo you know going to come in here if you brush away too much just change colors and then you can add it back I'm going to change colors again to brush away. If you change it to another color like black and white, instead of black and white, like if you do a gray or like a red, it will kind of do it as a transparency, meaning it won't give you a full black and white mask. It won't be clear, but it will give you like, it will show part of it. Okay, so notice some of my edges are sloppy. I'm brushing some of this back to follow along with his jawline. Okay, notice I have this right here that I need to fill in. So I'm actually going to come in here with my clone tool, have the layer, the actual art selected, not the mask. Select the art, come in here and sample an area. Option click to start painting. You can come in here and add some extra skin, extra scales. I want to go all the way to the edge of his jawline here. Okay, and then back to the mask. Brush tool, brush away the extra. Here we go. I'm going to duplicate this layer just in case I mess up. I have a back up, so I'm going to hit the eyeball on the bottom one. What I want to do now is zoom in the lips. And I'm going to select the mask and I'm going to brush away part of his lips. That way part of it can come through. So I'm going to change the opacity maybe to 33, make my brush smaller, and I can come in here and you can see if I brush away a little bit, they start coming through, but I actually, I wanna, my hardness at zero. And you know what? Let's see if I make it 22, what happens? So I can come in here just brush away part of it. It does not look that great. But this is how you can add part of the original image back. And you know, it doesn't look that great. So I'm gonna actually come in here. Let's change the hardness, zoom in so we can get a nice crisp edge. Let's see. 
Okay, so I'm kind of seeing where the top of his lip is. So now that I know, I'm going to come in here and just follow that line a little bit. I can actually select my blur tool here and like blur the edge of the mask a little bit. That way I get a softer line, that way it's not harsh. And I'm going to come back here to my background layer because that's what has the guy in it. And you can see the areas that I masked away. I'm going to select my rectangle marquee tool. Select just the bottom of his mouth. Command C to copy. Command V to paste. Notice I had the background layer selected. I'm going to name this guy's lips. Command B to change the color. I'm trying to get it to kind of match with this burned look. That way it kind of fits in and it doesn't look weird, but I'm still getting the texture coming through. So, okay. And as you can start see, like there's some lines visible. So I'm going to come in here, create a layer mask, brush, hardness zero, and I'm just going to feather this. Make sure I'm painting the opposite color. Change the opacity to 100%. Going to make it larger. I'm just brushing away the yellow so it blends in so I don't have like lines visible. There we go. Soft edges. Let's turn this layer back on. There we go. And I'm going to come in here with my burn tool. Come in here and burn his upper lip a little bit just so it like blends just so I get like more defined lines. You can hide this layer to come in here and see just burn it so you get more defined lines. You can also play around with image adjustments, brightness and contrast have some contrast that way too. Yeah, I like that. Okay, come in here and that looks better. I kind of don't like how harsh this line is and plus I feel like my line is off. So I'm going to come in here, my brush tool, make it smaller and brush back some of this texture. There we go, that looks better. There we go. And maybe clean up the bottom lip a little bit. Let's change the opacity to 22. Brush back. There we go. That looks nice. Okay. So that is how you can start combining different objects together and creating a double exposure. You can also come here, select more of the boy's face. Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and even play around with him and see how you can blend it. Because that, that gives you options too. And see what happens if you combine different modes. Let's play with the snake too. Let's see. Oops. Nope. Wrong, wrong snake. Let's do this one. The normal mode. Come here and play. Sometimes you have to combine a lot of stuff until you find something that works. I kind of like this. It's starting to look an abstract art piece. And I kind of want to come in here and brush some of this green in here. So I'm going to select my eyedropper tool eye, select a new, create a new layer. I'm going to call it green. 
and with my brush tool making a larger I'm going to come in here and just paint a little bit notice I'm not getting full color right away because my opacity is still 22 so I'm actually painting at 22 percent but you can see I'm like ghosting in make it smaller playing with his chin I'm painting in a color Going to resample, brush that color in to make it look realistic. Resample, brush that color in. Okay, so there you go. You can keep playing until you have an image, something that you like. I kind of don't like this blue here, so I'm going to duplicate the snake. Duplicate layer, yes. I'm going to put this one on normal. And mask out all of the snake except for the tip. So with my brush selected, let's change my opacity to 100%. So come in here. So again, I only, it's just the tip part that I really don't like. Well, actually, let's keep the eyeball. With the rest of it, let's block out. So once you're done, you can keep playing. Notice now I have a bunch of layers. Let's select the top layer, hold down shift select the bottom layer and you can just drag them in another way to select layers for example if there's a few that i don't want to put in the folder i can hit command and only select certain layers but we're going to go ahead and select all of them so i'm going to hold shift drag it in and i'm going to name this layer styles there we go and once you are done playing around shift command 4 take a screenshot and upload it to ecadence